All right, everybody, gather around. We're gonna be shooting this very real Navy pronoun video that can be Googled and researched in the future forever on the internet about the Navy and how to use pronouns appropriately in the Navy. So let's take this seriously, right? This isn't some sort of high school video Rama thing. Let's get it. Camera, let's go. Hi, my name is Johnny and I use he, him pronouns. I'm Private Potato and I don't really know what any of this means. Hi, and I'm Kanchi, and I use she, her pronouns. And we're here to talk about pronouns. Pronouns. Oh, sorry. It's, you want to start again? Well, George, uh, oh, all right, go ahead. And we're here to talk about pronouns. pronouns. Oh, that was too fast. Let me try again. And we're here to talk about pronouns. pronouns. That was too slow. All right, on three. One, two, three. Pronouns. pronouns. I, I, I'm pretty sure that we got it. Is this going to be like Sesame Street where we say today's pronouns are brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends for some time now. You see that guy? <laughs> well, he used to be me. Only six months ago, I was playing Raid Shadow Legends and watching my favorite YouTubers promote the fantastic game on their channels. Well, things have changed. Because this guy's making Raid Shadow Legends ads all by himself. Growing. Maturing. Adapting. Just like Raid Shadow Legends new updates and challenges. This game has everything with gameplay I can take anywhere. They got special events every single day and a brand new event for this summer. It's called the Path of Light and you'll be able to explore three branching paths to get rewards you want the most. On top of that, there's some awesome new skins for the amazing Trunda Gil Mallet. Raid's currently running a special Deliana Chase event where you can get your hands on the amazing Deliana, a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and July 20th. And you'll get Deliana for free. Deliana's one of the strongest support champions in the entire game and can help carry your team and get past many of Raid's tougher challenges, you don't want to miss her. And if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the touch screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion, Tyrell, 200 silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost along with one ancient shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. All new players, listen up, because once you're in the game, just enter promo code MYDELIANA, get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. Just click the link in the description or scan the QR code. And we're here to talk about pronouns. What is a pronoun? A part of speech, substituting for nouns, designating a person, or things asked for. Pronoun is how we identify ourselves, apart from our name, and it's also how people refer to us in conversations. Oh, I was way off. Using the right pronouns is a really simple way to affirm someone's identity. My drill sergeant would refer to me as you, like, hey you, get over here, or shitbag, which he would call me at PT every morning. Start doing real push-ups, you shitbag. It is a signal of acceptance and respect. Well, uh, you know, uh, if it's a signal of acceptance and respect, how do we go about creating a safe space for everybody? Speaking of safe space, guys, can, wh where are we? It looks like we boarded Elton John's Galactic Cruiser, headed into the Milky Way, and all of these sh faceless shadow people on the walls is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh. That's a good question. A really good way to do that is to use inclusive language. Instead of saying something like, hey, guys, you can say, hey, everyone, or hey, team. How about, hey, dummies, quit moving at the position of attention. Dummies is the pronoun. Yeah, and now that you say that, another way that we could show that we're allies and that we accept everybody is to maybe include our pronouns in our emails or, like we just did, introduce ourselves using our pronouns. Really? I just put my name and my rank at the end of my emails. You know, you put your pronouns at the end there. You just gotta look like a giant twat. No offense. If if there is offense that could be taken. I forgot what gender she is. Help me out. But what would I do if I uh, misgender someone? You won't if you call them by their rank. I think the first thing to recognize is that it's not the end of the world. Oh, tell that to Twitter. You correct yourself and move on, or you accept the correction and move on. Or just use the rank 
customs and courtesies, hundreds of years old, tradition. The most important thing I can tell you is do not put the burden of making you feel good about your mistake on the person that you just misgendered. Or just use their rank. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, thank you for telling me that. Yeah, and another tip uh, for you to remember their uh, pronoun next time, it's in your mind. Kind of go through a progression of three good things about the person using their pronoun. So let's say the person chooses to use they, mm -hmm. then you will in your mind go, they have a nice shirt, they have a nice smile, they are really smart. So that kind of sticks in your brain. Well, they better stay at parade rest when they talk to a non-commissioned officer. They're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> right, is NCO a pronoun? That is so helpful. Um, I want to know, what would I do if I want to know someone's gender identity or pronouns? I'd say this is going to turn into a giant EO complaint and you just better use name and rank before you end up getting canceled. The most important thing is do not pressure anybody into giving you their pronouns. <gasps> Can they put an EO complaint on me if I accidentally misgendered them? What if? What if they're a him, but I don't call them a him, but I'm a him? Is it sexist if I'm a him and he's a him, but I make a mistake? Oh no. Oh, I'm getting lightheaded. Some people may be going through the process of discovery and they are not ready yet to tell you what their pronouns are, and that's okay. Yep, finding yourself, that is a big deal. But to sidetrack, can we go back to the EO complaint? I really want to know if I'm going to get in trouble for this. I can't afford to get kicked out. I've gotten so many shots already just to stay in. So I should just lead with my pronouns and they may follow or not. And if they don't, then I can just continue to use gender neutral language. If you wanna. Yes, exactly. Just to share something with you that happened uh, the other day at a cookout I was at, we were uh, talking about pronouns and somebody was disagreeing with how different people um, see themselves as different pronouns and the argument was if you look like a female then it's she her because that's what's normal oh, oh, oh she said normal she's totally gonna get canceled oh shoot I said she are you a she is she a she oh I forgot if I'm supposed to ask oh no I'm getting canceled I can feel it in my bones and if you make me call you something else then you're infringing on my rights and I, I was really taken aback by the comment and I really wasn't sure how to respond. And the only thing I could really think quickly to say was, it's not about you at all. And it's mostly and ultimately about respect. If it's not about me, how come I'm trapped in this room with weird dystopian faceless people on the walls? I feel like I'm in a re-education camp. The rainbow shadow people on the walls disapprove of me. The cold color for walls are closing in! It is about respect. That's an important point to make. And I think you did the right thing. I think it's important to keep it short and simple. What I would have said to help them understand better is to talk about mispronouncing names. For example, my name is Johnny. It's smart. He's sticking with his name he was given at birth that is, you know, consistent. Spelled J-O-N-Y. And it's normal for someone to pronounce my name like Joni, but if I were to tell you over and over again, my name is Johnny, and you insist on mispronouncing my name, I would feel disrespected by you. Some names are very difficult to pronounce, but do you know what is very easy to pronounce? She, she he, he, they. I thought this video was about pronouns, that pronunciation. Everybody already knows how to say they, she, he. This is about pronouns, right? We're here because people want to be called something different, not because of a lack of pronunciation. Oh no! The faceless shadow rainbow people have encircled us! And I don't know their pronouns! Run! Run! Into the sky! Hey there, fellow brothats. I am Brothat. And I'm here to teach you some pronouns, bruh. So that way our veteran community can be on key and on point with our fantastic forward-thinking progressive military, bruh. So allow me to break down some pronouns. You've got dummy, dude, 
Brovet, which is a female brovet. Nice. Guy, asshole, blue falcon, dickhead, fucker, you. But be aware that these pronouns are ever changing to your individual brovet needs and feelings. One day, you could be a dude, and the other day, you could be a fucker. So be aware of your other brovet's pronouns. <laughs> Righteous. Hello, moms? Listen, I'm not gonna be home for a long time. I've been trapped by the shadow people. Shadow banned. No, not like social media. This is real life. Yep, from the pronouns. I know, the gypsy was right. I forgot to add this in while I was editing. New merch, E4 Mafia shirts and a 4th of July shirt. Get it now so you can get it by the 4th of July. Angry-Cops.com. Carry on.